If you want any cheap reliable coins, go to FIFCoinSale.com for the fastest delivery. Use code IMAC for 5% off your order. Go to another best possible squad. Um, obviously, we do one of these because I haven't got a video planned and there was no special packs out, so I don't have any packs to open. I haven't planned any um, main videos. I was planning to redo the uh, the best, um, the most skillful squad because uh, what some of you guys said, why make the video when I didn't? I didn't really do many skills in it, so I might remake that if you want me to, um, because that would be pretty fun as with the new five star skillers that are out. Um, uh, so yeah, that might be out tomorrow. I'm not sure. And then, um, so yeah, today we're going to do the best possible, best ever, um, Spanish squad. Um, so yeah, here we go. So, in goal, we have got Casillas. Um, used to be the highest rated goalkeeper, highest rated goalkeeper card in FIFA, but he has been overtaken by Neuer with a 96 card, but he had a 95 rated card back in FIFA 13 as a team of the year. And then we go on to the centre back. So we have Ramos. Um, I actually planned this uh, this squad before Team of the Year. So I had um, 93 rated FIFA 14, but now it is a 94 rated FIFA 15 card. And then we go on to PK here, who had a 93 rated card back in FIFA 12, as you see there. I'm pretty sure that was a team of the year, I'm not sure. Um, okay, in right back we have Juan Fran. Um, I don't know why when I plan this I put Dani Alves when he's not even Spanish. Um, but Juan Fran has had the highest rated card in FIFA as a right back. Um, and then it would be Carver Howe, obviously. Um, and he had a 985 rated team of the season in FIFA 14. And then we go to left back we have Jordi Alba. Um, this team is a fairly high rated team. Most of these players are in the 90s apart from um, Juan Fran and Jordi Alba. But Jordi Alba had an 87 rated card in uh, FIFA 13 as a team of the season. Um, and then we go on to centre defensive mids. This is also, this uh, formation is a 4 triple 2 because there's not that many left mids and right mids that are, that are high rated. And then we go on to here we have Xavi, um, who had an insanely high rated card as well. I think, oh wow, why is it not work? Right, so sorry about that, technical issues. Um, he, is to have, he has the highest rated card in this team. He has um, two previous cards that are 95 rated and a 94 rated as well in FIFA 13. But in FIFA 12, he had a 97, uh, wait, yeah. 97 rated um, team of the year because I believe the blue card in FIFA 12 was team of the season so the team of the years were black um, he had a 97 rated card and then we go on to Iniesta he has most of his cards um, special cards have been high rated as you see in FIFA 15 95 team of the year 95 96 95 96 91 and 89 which is he has been a fairly successful player I would say um, he has a 96 rated card which is his highest rated card team of the year in FIFA 13 and then we go on to this cam we have Fabregas okay so in this cam we have Fabregas oh my god in the cam in this cam position if I can get this right again uh, we have Fabregas um, when he was at um, Barcelona. He had a 90 rated man of match in FIFA 13 as you see there. And in this cam we have Javi Alonso back when he was at Real Madrid where he belongs. Well, in the Spanish league. He doesn't really belong there but I'm just saying that he's Spanish. But, you know, um, where is it? Uh, he had a 93 rated card also on FIFA 12. As well, he had a 93 card, but I'm just going to go with the FIFA 13 one when he was at Real Madrid. And then the two strikers, we have two FIFA 10 players. We have Fernando Torres, when he was in his prime, being the best player on the game. FIFA 10, he was playing at uh, uh, Liverpool. 
Uh, he did get upgraded from an 89, or it must have been a special card or something, but he had a 92 rated card. And then we have David Villa, who is um, at uh, New York City Football Club now. Um, it's amazing how we, he's dropped by 13. 13 ratings he's dropped by, which is actually really bad, actually. Um, he has had... He had um, Four cards on FIFA 10. He had a transfer from Barcelona to uh, Sevilla. I think that's what that club is. He had an upgrade uh, three times from 89, 92, and 93. So he had a 93 rated team. Uh, not, no, I don't know. It might have been a special card because I didn't really have colours back in FIFA 10. But yeah, a special card there. It might have been. I don't know. So that is the starting 11. Let me go on to the bench. We have uh, David Sil Silver. He had 93 left mid. Um, he would be in there, but it wasn't the right formation. It was a four triple two. And then we've got Poyle, um, uh, the probably the highest rated centre back that there ever was. Um, normal card anyway, um, 91 rated from Barcelona. And then we've got Diego Costa before he transferred Chelsea, 90 rated team this season, FIFA 14. And then we have a 90 rated Juan Mata. Um, when he was at Chelsea, team this season, FIFA 13. And then we got Jose Pepe Reina, whatever we want to call him. Um, when he was at Liverpool, he had a 90 rated goalkeeper card, which is actually pretty sick. Um, FIFA 10 there. And then we got two legends, which is um, Butch, but Ragueno. I don't know. I don't think these cards are on FIFA yet. One of them isn't on FIFA. I'm not sure. I think it's this one. Um, well, I don't know. Um, and then we've got Hierro, um, two legend cards. And yeah, that is the best ever um, Spanish, best ever Spanish um, team there ever was to live. Um, if you guys keep leaving your suggestions down below, every time I make one of these videos, keep leaving your suggestions down below of um, what best possibles you want me to do. At the moment, I have USA, West Ham, um, Germany, I think I need to do Germany, Scotland, Ivory Coast, Wolverhampton Forest, um, Holland. I want all of them to do, but just keep adding to my list so I know when to do them when I don't have anything else to do. Maybe I could do one every day of one week. I don't know if you want me to do that. That's just if I have no videos to do. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.